Well, Smithfield Town Council is called back to back into order. Is there a motion um, to come out of the executive session? Mr. President, under Round General Laws 42 46 5A 5. Motion to come out of the executive session. Let the record show that no votes were taken to seal the minutes. Motion by Mrs. Lansky. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mrs. Adioli. Any other discussion? Harry Young will call vote. Mrs. Young? Yes. Mrs. O'Hara? Yes. Mrs. O'Hara? Yes. 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 Mr. Yes. Mr. Valencia? Yes. Next slide of North Smithfield Town Council sitting as a Board of License Commissioner is a victory in license for Walmart Store East LP doing business as Walmart number 2225. Everybody here from Walmart? Cell phone number, I'm counting nine numbers. Uh, could be the train three. How would we reach this person? Yeah, the, other, the other piece here is are there any flammable hazardous combustion equipment or uh, equipment or materials? They say possible kerosene, paint dinner, etc. Mm -hmm. I, I think they sell canes because of can't be propane, not the big ones. Um, pretty much there's a lot of flammable material. I think this is a half hazard application. Contact information is not proper, and as far as, because I don't know how much we'd be liable for, but if we approve this, there is some type of problem there. I, I, I just like to have a little bit more information to have a representative. Can be the store manager, I'm sure I'm going to fly out to the to do this. So I, I would like to motion to table this until we can actually get the proper contact for the, um, It's not up to us to go online and try and find this person. I agree. Motion to table. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. OJ. Roll we'll call vote. Mrs. Yes. Mrs. Yes. 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 Next slide of discussion by Council Board of their action on payment of bills. Uh, I entertain a motion to approve the following from the general fund in 2019. One million five hundred seven thousand five hundred seventy-three dollars and four cents, with paid invoices of sixty thousand two hundred seventy-six dollars and seventy-four cents for a total of one million five hundred sixty-seven thousand eight hundred forty-nine dollars and seventy-eight cents out of the sewer and water department, eight hundred seventy dollars and fifty-seven cents for a total of one million five hundred sixty-seven thousand eight hundred forty. That number's not right. Simply. You added a number and it's the same number as well. Trust for insurance, $135,746.45. Debt service, the USDA loan, $9112,37,275. Retirement account, $4,793.60. And loan payment bank, New York, $42,914.22. For total of electronic payments, $2,187,921.52. Cents for total payments of oh, that number needs to be changed. Three million seven hundred fifty-six thousand six forty-one point eight seven. 
total payments of three million seven hundred fifty-six thousand six hundred forty-one dollars and eighty-seven cents. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Motion by Mrs. Bonnelli. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mrs. O'Hara. Discussion. There is none. No call vote. Mr. Bonnelli. Yes. Mrs. O'Hara. Yes. Mr. Durgin. Yes. Mr. Lewis. Yes. Mr. Bennett. Yes. Next slide of discussion by Council Board of Action on consent agenda. All items listed in this section are considered in one motion. There will be no separate discussion of these items unless a council so request, in which event the item will be removed from the consent agenda as follows. Town Council minutes of July 15th, August 5th, and 19th, and September 3rd, 2019. Municipal Building Review Task Force minutes for July 24th, August 5th, in 29th, 2019. Following communications, Animal Control Monthly Report, August 2019. Musketfield Police Department Monthly Report, for August 2019. Musketfield Municipal Court Monthly Report, for August 2019. Railroad and Traffic Tribunal Citation Report, for August 2019. Musketfield Fire Department Monthly Report, for July and August 2019. Board of Vehicle Registration, Community Tax Access and Resolution regarding public access to the shoreline town of Charleston. A motion to approve the consent agenda. Mr. President, uh, I would like to remove the minutes of August 5th, August 19th, September 3rd for discussion. Read the motion. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. Oye. Anyone else pull anything else out? Uh, Mr. President, I, I can kind of. I, I oh, we're going to vote on the consent agenda. Harry Mann. No call vote. Mrs. Carmelli? Yes. Mrs. O'Hara? Yes. Mr. Richard? Yes. Mr. Zulinski? Yes. Mr. Vanley? Yes. Mr. President? No. Well, discussion by Council about other action on specific item removes from consent agenda August 5th, the minutes of August, Council minutes of August 5th and 19th and September 3rd, 2019. Mr. Um, Mr. President, to uh, expedite August 5th, 19th, and September 3rd minutes. Uh, all of them pertain to open forum. Uh, there's a statement in here that a uh, motion made by Mr. Zulinski, second to Mike Romero, uh, and voted in the and a low call vote to close the open, open forum. I would just like to make it clear, and maybe make it a process from here on out, uh, statement, motion uh, to the effect something as there were no other people waiting to speak. That's when I made that motion. I, I was really cognizant that someone was waiting to speak and I identified them. Well, I saw them, uh, I was certainly not going to make a motion. So as a matter of process, hopefully we can consider this in the future, that a statement made is there were no other people waiting to speak or something to that effect. Do we, do we even make a motion? I don't know. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that was a motion. Yeah. We never, we've had it in the past. Yeah, I didn't think we... Yeah, but it's not yeah. recent. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, we, we didn't do it tonight, that's why. Yeah, so if we're going to do it, at least make a statement in there saying that I know there's no one else waiting to speak on the other forum. But that's kind of important. Kind of, it, it almost looks like we're closing the meeting. Man. Yeah. yeah. We can't do that. Um, I have something in terms of August 19th. Yeah, as far as I'm going to vote on that, except for the end piece first. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, that's that's fine. Fine. So that, that's a motion. So you've read the motion by Mrs. Zelensky, second by Mrs. O'Hara and Mrs. Bonamioli. Any other discussion? Roll we'll call. Mrs. Carmelli? Yes. Mrs. O'Hara? Yes. Mrs. Roger? Yes. Mr. Zelensky? Yes. Mr. Hattie? Yes. Mr. O'Hara? So my, my comment, and I was going to pull up the August 19th meeting minutes, especially when you get down to sec, uh, page No, so it's it's a section where it talks about I and Mine Hill Road Green Development Tax Stabilization Agreement Development Agreement. Okay. Um, so it's got this one paragraph, and then at the bottom it says there was a very lengthy discussion regarding the development agreement. I would assume that we should have more in there. I would like to see more documented in there, other than that summary, because the top piece is, it's kind of just like a summary of what took place, but it's not specific as to who on the council said anything. It's kind of just the, the snippet that came out of whatever they, like a summary of whatever they were presenting. So I would like to see more in the meeting minutes regarding this, especially if we ever had to look back on this. 
who would know what a lengthy discussion really entailed by who? I just, I just think there should be more, especially since this topic is widely being talked about and has future ramifications. We should have more than just a lengthy discussion. And a motion? Yeah, that'd be a motion. Can, can, can we discuss it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you second the discussion. Yeah, second the discussion because I, I also had that flag. Um, Jan and I bring it up when I first uh, added stuff to the bulletin to the second agenda. I am not sure that it was at this meeting, August 19th, or another meeting. But the, the question was posed why has the mega, the, the, the wattage been reduced? And one of the public hearings, uh, the attorney said that it was because of, to uh, avoid the Office of Energy Review or Energy Site Board of Review. I think that's pretty important, but I don't know which day that was talked about. I can't recall. So that's something that we can go back. It's on YouTube, I guess. Right. Yep. So I, I, if I may, and I, I, I agree with Councilman Ogier, there's just not enough information. Was that August 19th or was that September 3rd? When was it? I, I, I just know in the future minutes we get more detailed and in the end it's kind of, I mean he's talking about this will be presented to the planning board but it's already has. Yeah. It's just the timeline of this is not very clear other than it's kind of just his recount of to what took place but it doesn't raise any of the concerns that the council may have raised or anything like that so I think it needs to be more balanced than that. Right. 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 Mr. President, if I might. Hi. Um, to make certain that we're not confusing our clerk. Um, I think it's important that we understand that the minutes are not intended to be a transcript. Um, and it's my understanding of Robert's rules that our minutes are really um, required to, to record actions. Um, meaning there was a motion, there was a, you know, there was a vote, and so on. Um, that's absolute. Um, the idea that you know, what somebody said needs to be recorded. I'll caution that those kinds of comments and minutes have actually caused us to have problems in the past because they're not, um, again, this is not a tra transcript. It's not a courtroom. Um, what someone says here can be completely inaccurate and wind up in our minutes as it was someone trying to maintain his fact. That, that's not what minutes are all about. Um, yes. The, they're, they're available on um, the, uh, the web. We'll continue with that for anyone's information, but I just have to caution and to, to try to, we have a, a new clerk who obviously is up to the task, but we need to make it clear. I think my, my understanding of Robert's rules also is that any counselor has the opportunity to be able to, to request that something be inserted for the record, um, which is your purview, uh, individually, um, to, we need to make sure that we know what we're asking for, I guess, is the bottom line for what I'm trying to say. So can I comment on that? So I, in other roles, I've done meeting minutes, and I, I agree. I do not think that this needs to be a full transcript of, you know, I said this at this time, and someone said this at that time. However, though, in reading this, this is pro developer, and I, it just doesn't represent the town at all, and that's where my concern was coming in. In every other area of the minutes, there is action, and, and I agree, if it's just a vote or there's nothing, that, that makes sense, but like just a lengthy discussion, there's nothing going back on there that I would know, and, and this was from August 19th, and here we are almost a month over, month due from August 19th, or just about August 19th, a month later. So I guess if these minutes are coming a, a month down the line, it's, it's, I mean, I shouldn't have to then go back to YouTube and say, all right, well, what am I watching? I mean, I do, but I shouldn't have to then go back and say, I want this inserted because I said this at this time, and now I'm, when that could have already been captured up front. So I guess when there is some serious discussion, it should be noted in there that these objections were raised or these concerns, because I feel like those will get missed if we're not recorded them up front. I, and I, I would like to, thanks, I, I would like to request that that statement be found and attributed to what minutes it belongs in, that the reason has been downsized to 38.5 megawatts. There was a reason for that. And I, I think that's pretty important. They did not have a uh, train uh, stenographer here, caught stenographer recording this. So, uh, and Gary, uh, the administrator of Sasuke, I believe, you know, I, 
I subscribe to what you're saying, you know, sometimes less is more, but this is one of the things that I wanted to have an answer to. So I'm requesting that we find out which exactly what meeting was in, uh, which attorney, because we've had uh, two attorneys present for uh, Green Development, and I'd like the continuity to be there. We said what, where, what. I'm going to, uh, that's a motion I'm going to ask that that be, uh, ask the town clerk to uh, find it. Which may mean put a hold on minutes. I know we're up against, but we have reason. We have a, a reasonable reason. Can you say it? Reasonable reason. Uh, we were transitioning with uh, town clerk and whatnot, so it may take a little bit more to the next meeting to get this work done. So I, I'd like to make a request that that uh, we find out where it is, and then that particular minutes. Uh, I do have a comment on the minutes of nine grade. It does have here, Mr. Zwolenski stated that it was nice, no, stated that it was nice to see that the megawatts changed. Um, was then, so I'm not sure if that may have been when they answered. Yeah, we know that was that was. But see, this is the conversation now that I think what happened now a month, a month, a couple weeks later is it's that that was in follow up to a conversation that took place in July or even at the end. Of, I mean, the end of July, beginning of August, at some point was it had changed from forty to thirty nine down to thirty eight or something. So there was confusion, and they came back and said it is thirty eight point four. So I guess it just gets to the point. I'd like to just kind of see it in follow up if we have raised the question of concern, so that we know specifically when it took place if we ever did have to. Yeah, something must have preceded that where I said I'm glad to change because you know I would like to have more megawatts with less impact on the on the one. So there was some reason I yeah, if you clarify that I think that'd be uh, to me yes. I feel that's to the administrator's point. When you're trying to get the whole transcript without having a transcript, you're trying to put a transcript in there. I know. You hit it and you say, I don't remember saying that. But if we approve the minutes, you said that. True or not. <laughs> that's A specific request, like you're asking, Councilman, completely agree. That's fine. That's the right way to go about it. But to expect that we just increase the volume, again, it's um, the solicitor and I have talked about a, a prior circumstance with the zoning board where things went sideways because of stuff that was in minutes that just never should have been in. So we pulled the minutes, town council minutes of August 5th, 19th, and September 3rd. We've made one amendment to them. Do we want to vote on the other amendment, or do we want to? There is no second to this amendment. No second to this amendment. No second to this amendment. No So did we ask for a second? So I, I, I made. No, it was a discussion. Right. We made a motion of discussion. Yes. So two hundred meetings. Do you have my? Uh, it's to find a statement from. No, 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 not that, not that. The early, we've already, we've already approved one amendment. We did vote on that. The amendment about closing the open forum. Yes. That one I have. Right. That's what I just said. So right. we made one amendment to those minutes. Yes. Now we're in the discussion of the other one. What I'm asking is, are there any other amendments that we want to make, or do we want, to, or do we want to table those minutes until we get that clarification that you're seeking? That makes sense, Mr. President. So. Are we going to vote on my asking to get that information and then table the means until it comes back to clarity? So, would that be a little motion, uh, Steve? Uh, Solicitor Archibald? Yeah, if you make the setting and make it contingent upon getting more specific information to the motion itself, and that's the reason why you continue. Yes. Okay. But I think Gary's caveat is what we need when it comes to action. Summary of minutes, it's always about the action. So it's a little bit of an art for how you summarize and catch the flavor without giving specific attribution to the individual because that can be done. If it gets you off on a tangent, it becomes a pattern. Then you get this recitation of minutes and you can have inaccuracies. But I think it can be able to do with that motion in the core of what was discussed in the time. So, so it's my motion, would that yes. suffice? Okay, so that motion is still stands. So the motion is. Approve pending clarification. clarification or getting clarification. Yes. Is there a second? Second. So 
something like this on the over Is there any other discussion? Hearing none, roll call. Mrs. Rumbling? Yes. Mrs. O'Hara? Yes. Mr. Rogier? Yes. Mr. Zolinski? Yes. Mr. Hammond? Yes. Next item on the roll business, 